Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. The DT is running sweet. The problem was the side stand switch. So always pay attention to it. If you have problems with it, uh, you can just bypass it with a little, little cable and pay a little more attention when you start not to have it down. So in this video, I want to explain you how to calculate your RPM with math. If you know the speed you are running at, and for example, like me, if you don't have a tachometer or if you just want to check if your tachometer is running right. So it's pretty cold here in the garage. Let's go inside. So these are the things you need to know to calculate your RPM. So you can find these three things uh, on your service manual. In my case, it is 3.227. The secondary is uh, with my gearing, which is uh, 1557, which is not the original for the DT, the original is uh, 1657. So my is 3.8. If you've got the 1657, you can just do the math. You've got to do just 57 divided by 16, and that's your ratio, so 3.56. But in my case, in my case, I'm using the 3.8 because I have the 15 tooth pinion, and the gears ratio is always on the manual. In my case, they are 2.833. Okay, so these are all the gears ratios. So this will be letter P S and G. The circumference of the rear wheel is letter C. In my case it is 1.94 meters. Especially on, on enduro bikes uh, it changes a lot from when the tire is new to when the tire is used. So you know the measurements can change during the life of a tire. So it's pretty easy to measure it because you just need to put a sign on the ground make the wheel to do a complete rotation, then you put another sign in there, you can use the valve to, to know when the rotation is complete, the, the valve of the tire, I mean. You just measure the distance between the two signs uh, and you know what the real circumference is. Then we've got E, which is the error that your speedo is making, because as you know, it's not, it's not that precise, it's not that difficult to, to calculate it. For example, in my case, with a GPS on my phone, I saw that if I go at 70 km per hour, the, the speed read on the speedo is 80 km per hour. So I know if I go at 70 km per hour, the speed I read on the speedo is 80 km per hour, which is our 100%. And now we've got to calculate uh, which is the part that we have to consider from the speed we read on the speedo. It's 87.5%. This means we have to consider the 87.5% of the speed we read on the speedo. Then we've got air, which is the speed that we read on our speedo. So another thing you need to know is how to convert your kilometers per hour in meters per minute. Minute because we want to have the RPM, which are the rotations per minute. Kilometers per hour means that if, you want, if we want to have the meters and the minutes, we have to divide by 1000 the kilometers and we have to divide by 60 the hours so now I'll just do 1000 divided by 60 and it is 16.67 a is 16.67 so it is pretty easy the rpm is G, E, R, A. And divided by C. 
That's it. Let's make an example. Three point gears ratio. Let's say we are in fourth gear, so one one point one four three. We are, let's say, at 60 km per hour that we read on the speedo, so 60. Let's try to do it. Okay, divide by 1.94. Six thousand three hundred and twenty two RPM in four gear at sixty kilometers per hour. So let's say for example my top speed is uh, one hundred and forty kilometers per hour red on the speedo. Six gear six gear is uh, zero point eight one eight. 140, this is the speed. So, when I am at 140 kilometers per hour, my RPM is 10,000 and about 500. So I calculated that if my bike would have the power to go 150 km per hour on the speedo I would be at around here so a little bit more than 11,000 rpm this is the 6th gear for example if I just wanna know what 50 km per hour 1, 2, 3 I would be at a little bit less than 4000 RPM. So in the same way I can do all the graphs for all the, for all the gears. So I hope the video will be helpful for you guys and see you next time.